we have learned many number systems. At first, we started with the natural numbers, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Then we add 0 to these natural numbers. Then that number system we called as whole numbers. Then we introduced the numbers less than 0, that is negative numbers. And that number system we can call it as integers. It's negative, zero, and positive numbers. Again, we extended the number system to the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q. That is called rational numbers. Then the numbers which are not rational numbers, we call it as irrational numbers. Root 2, root 3, root 5, etc. We can call it as irrational numbers. Now, the numbers which are rational and irrational together. Rational numbers and irrational numbers. That means it contains all other system of numbers. Together we can call it as real numbers. So in this chapter we are discussing some division properties of divisions. Euclid's division lemma, etc. Now, let us first go to Euclid's division lemma. Let me take two numbers 20 and 6. Now, let me divide 20 by 6. You are getting 3 here. Now, 3 into 6, 18, and balance 2. Here, 20 we can call it as dividend, 6 we can call it as divisor, now 3 quotient and 2 remainder. Since 3 is the quotient and 2 is the remainder, we can write 20 and 6 as 20 is equal to 6 into 3 plus 2. Any division, if you take any two numbers, you can write that uh, division as dividend is equal to dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remain. Now look at this division once again. If I take instead of 6, if I take some other number what will be ha what will happen to the remainder will it more than 6 will it more than the divisor never so if you divide any number by 6 the possible remainders will be 0 1 2 3 4 or 5 it may not it cannot be 6 if it is uh, instead of 24 if you are divided by 6, so definitely it will for 6 or 24, remainder will be 0. That means remainder can be 0 and or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means less than 6. Now let me take any positive integer a and b. Now let me divide a by b. That is a is divided dividend b is the device when you divide a by another integer b let you are getting the quotient b q and the remainder let it be r when you divide a by b you are getting a new integer q and a, a, another integer r. These two are unique. No other number you can get instead of q and r if you divide a by b. So, uh, as, as you know, dividend is equal to divisor and quotient plus remainder. This a can be written as a is equal to b into q plus r. That is b q plus r. Now, what are the possible values of R? R can be 0 or less than B. That you can 
write it as zero less than or equal to r less than b. This result we can call it as Euclid's division lemma. Here this was derived by the famous math mathematician Euclid's. No, he is known as also father of geometry and uh, so this statement we can call it as Euclid's division lemma and lemma lemma is a proven statement to prove some other theorems or statements so how can we define Euclid's division lemma that is for any two integers a and a, b there exists a unique integer q and r satisfying a is equal to bq plus r then the values of r will be 0 and less than b or 0 less than or equal to r less than b you please division lemma you can state it as given positive integers a and b there exists unique integers q and r satisfying a is equal to bq plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than b by using this result we can find out hcs for any two positive numbers. Let us discuss that in the next class.